Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord, let it rise among us. Oh, let, let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Que la gloria del Señor exultemos. Que la gloria del Señor exultemos. Alabanza santa rey, levantemos alabanza. Oh, alabanza. Sing again. Que la gloria del Señor. Oh, que la gloria del Señor. Exultemos, que la gloria del Señor. Exultemos, alabanza santa rey. Levantemos alabanza, alabanza. Oh, alabanza, oh alabanza. Oh, oh alabanza. Oh, let the songs of the Lord let them rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord let them rise. Oh, let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. One more time. Let the songs of the Lord. Oh, let the songs of the Lord. Oh, let the praises of our King rise among us, let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh. seated everyone I don't see brother Mario he may be hiding from the tornado <laughs> that's all right that's okay uh, we want to welcome again everybody here today hope that you are enjoying uh, the presence of God already and we're going to pray for our service here in just a moment uh, so that we can uh, continue to have open hearts for what God wants to do uh, in us today. We also want to pray for our missionaries who are our prayer focus this week. Uh, Jameson and Lydia Herman are missionaries to Russia, uh, and we're going to pray for them. It, it, this is a, uh, obviously a difficult time for them to be uh, in Russia, so let's, uh, let's pray for them. Heavenly Father, God, we lift your uh, missionaries, God, uh, the Herman family, to you. We ask that you would keep them safe and that, Lord, there would be open hearts wherever they are in that nation, Lord. Let there be open hearts for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let the Hermans get, have everything they need to continue the call that you have put upon their lives. Keep them safe, Lord, and let them be successful in what you have called them to do. And we pray for our own service today. I ask, God, that, that we would have open hearts for what your spirit has to say. Lord, through, through just the moving of your spirit, through the, the preaching of the word, through every part of the service, God, let us hear from you. For those that are on their way, Lord, just keep them safe on the roads in the rain. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 
Hey, why don't you get up? Welcome, everybody. You may need to get a little, walk a little farther than usual uh, because uh, uh, people are spread out. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness, whose love is mighty, so much stronger, the King of glory, the King above all kings. Who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves us breathless in awe and wonder, the King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace, this is unfailing love, that you would take my place, that you would bear my cross, Lord, you laid down your life, that I would be set free, oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Who brings our chaos back into order? Who makes the orphan a son and daughter? The King of glory, the King above all kings. Who rules the nations with truth and justice? Shines like the sun in all of its brilliance. The King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace, this is unfailing love, that you would take my place, that you would bear my cross, Lord, you lay down your life, that I would be set free, oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. 
Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Oh, this is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. Lord, that you would take my place. That you would bear my cross. Oh, you laid down your life. That I would be set free. Jesus, I sing for all oh, that you've done for me. Yes, this is amazing grace. This is unfailing love that you would take my place. Lord, that you would bear my cross. Oh, you let down your life that I would be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Oh, you've done for me. Hallelujah, Lord. Great is your faithfulness, O God. You wrestle with the sinner's heart. You lead me by still waters into mercy. Where nothing can keep us apart. So remember your people, remember your children, remember your promise, O oh God. For your grace is enough, your grace is enough, your grace is enough for me. Oh, Lord, your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Great is your love and justice, God. The God of Jacob, you use the weak to lead the strong. You lead us in the song of heaven's victory. And all your people sing along. So remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your promise, O oh God. For your grace is enough, your grace is enough, your grace is enough for me. Lord, I know your grace is enough, your grace is enough, your grace is enough for me. So remember. So remember your people, remember your children, remember your promise, oh God. For your grace is enough, your grace is enough, your grace, Lord, it's enough for me. Oh, your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Amen. 
When peace like a river attendeth my way, and when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou because of anything that I've done because of what he's done for me I can say it's well no matter what happens no though Satan should buffet and trials come I know that he's 
in control. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, you are more than enough for me, Jehovah. Whatever you're facing right now, whatever is just sticking in your craw and, and just dragging you down, I can tell you right now that God is more than enough to touch you where you are and meet your need. Because He's God. <laughs> He's not limited by human troubles. Not limited by human failings. He is God. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent 
on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. That's just the way it is. You are God alone from before time began. You were on your throne, Lord. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and the bad, Lord, you are God alone. You are God alone. You're the only God whose power for none can contend. You're the only God whose name and praise will never end. You're the only God who's worthy of everything we can give. You are God. That's just the way it is. You are God alone. From before time began, you were on your throne. You are God And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. You're unchangeable. You're unshakable. You're unstoppable, that's what you are. Oh, you're unchangeable, you're unshakable, unstoppable, that's what you are. Oh, let's say it again, Lord, you're unchangeable. Oh, you're unshakable, you're unstoppable. That's what you are, Lord, you're unchangeable, unshakable, you're unstoppable, that's what you are. You are God alone, from before time began, you were on your throne. You are God alone, and right now, in the good times and the bad, still you are on your throne, Lord, you're God alone, oh, you are God alone, from before all time began, you were on your throne, Lord, and you are God alone. Right here and right now, in the good times and the bad, Lord, you are on your throne. Oh, I'll sing it one more time. Oh, you are God alone. From before all time began, you were on your throne. And you are God alone, Lord, and right now. In the good times and the bad, oh, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, whether we're facing the good times or the bad, it doesn't change the fact that you're still on the throne. Not just on the throne of heaven and earth, Lord. You're, you're on the throne of our hearts. And you take your throne upon our praise right here, right, right now, today, here at Riverside. <laughs> Whether it's daytime or nighttime, rain or sunshine. Whether I'm hurting or feeling good, you're there for me continue to remind us of that throughout this service, Lord, that your help is available, and we will continue to glorify you just because of who you are. You're worthy of our praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You may be seated, everybody.
Good morning. Sense the presence of the Holy Spirit this morning. He is here. Invite him into your hearts. Let him speak to your heart. Let him speak to your mind. Listen and be obedient to what he's, what he's saying to you today. I am so blessed that I can stand here, no matter what's going on, and say it is well with my soul. Aren't you? So I have the pleasure this morning, I'm Pastor Paulette, in case we haven't met yet. I have the pleasure this morning of, of greeting any new people that we have this morning. So if you are new with us, if it's your first or maybe your second time visiting with us today, would you mind just raising your hand? Our ushers have a, a welcome packet that we would love to get into your hands. It just tells you a little bit. Yeah, in the back there, Keith. Um, welcome, welcome. Thank you. It's good to see you. I hope you feel at home here. Um, this is the family of God, and you are a part of it. So welcome. In that packet, you'll see just a, a card that looks like this. The back side of it has just a place where you can fill out your information. And we just want to be able to send you an email and say hi and welcome. Um, thank you for coming. So if you wouldn't mind filling that out, if you take it to the welcome desk at the back after the service, we have a little gift there for you. And as the ushers come forward again, uh, we're going to take the Lord's tithes and our offerings as they come. Would you bow your head with me as they make their way back up to the front? Heavenly Father, we thank you for just who you are. God, we thank you that we can stand here and say, regardless of what's going on in our world, it is well with my soul. And so we say thank you for that. And as we gather today to worship through our tithes and offerings, Lord, we ask that to First, that you would be um, honored with the gifts that we are giving to you, Lord. We recognize they all come from you. And so we just want to give back to you uh, a portion of what you have given to us. So, Lord, would you, would you have your hand upon these givings this morning that they would multiply the kingdom both locally and globally, Lord, that we would be enabled to do the work that you have called us to do as Riverside Assembly of God. So, God, we ask these things in your precious, holy son's name. Amen. Amen. We have three ways that you can give. You can come forward, uh, place your offering in the basket. You can give online. There's a QR code in front of you there. And if you're not able to come forward, just raise your hand. Our ushers uh, will come back to you. Oh, years I spent in vanity and pride. Caring not, my Lord was crucified, knowing not it was for me he died at Calvary. Mercy there was great and grace was free, pardon there was multiplied to me. There my burden sold for liberty at Calvary. For oh, by God's word at last my sin I learned Then I trembled at the law I'd spurn Till my guilty soul imploring turned to Calvary Oh, it's mercy there was great and grace was free His pardon there was multiplied to me There my burden so found liberty at Calvary. Now I've given to Jesus everything. Now I gladly own him as my king. Now my raptured soul can only sing of Calvary. Oh, his mercy there was great and grace was his pardon there multiplied to me. There my burden so found liberty at Calvary. And oh, the love that drew salvation's plan. Oh, the grace that brought it down to man. Oh, the mighty gulf that God did spend at Calvary. Oh, his mercy there was great and grace was free. His pardon there. Multiply to me, there my burden, so liberty at Calvary. Oh, mercy, there was grace, grace was free. 
part and there was multiply to me oh there my burden so far liberty at Calvary Amen Amen Before Pastor Paulette comes to uh uh, dismiss the children. I just want to uh, give a few announcements of some things that are taking place. First of all, next Sunday uh, is a special Sunday in which right after service, we're going to have a time of fellowship over in the White Fellowship Hall right, right behind us. We encourage you to bring uh, uh, some sort of potluck, something. It doesn't have to be in a pot. It can be in, in, in a bowl if it's a salad. Uh, it can be uh, whatever container, but we ask that you bring at least enough for your family and maybe a, a, a few others so that we can share with each other as an act of love. They used to call these agape feast, meaning love feast, where we come and, and just enjoy each other's company and, and have some food together. Uh, so there is a sign-up sheet. I encourage you to uh, sign up. Don't bring dessert. Because we're providing the dessert, the church is going to provide the dessert. Like I said, if you bring dessert, I'm going to have to confiscate it and take it home. So if that has to be done, that has to be done. Uh, the men's breakfast is coming up this Saturday, July 22nd at 9 a.m. right here at the church. Men, I encourage you to come out, be part of the fellowship time, be part of that uh, great opportunity we have to uh, love on each other, encourage each other. Children's Sunday is two Sundays from now. That's where we gather. Our, uh, our kids are able to minister to us, and we minister to our kids. So if your child is uh, available and would like to participate, uh, whether it's a song or, or reading a scripture or, or whatever it is that they, uh, they have a, a talent in and they're going to share that uh, for God's glory, uh, you can come and see me or see Brother Mario. It's there in the back. Wave your hand, Brother Mario. And, uh, and he'll be happy to talk to you about having your, your child uh, participate. Uh, our prayer line continues to be open. You can text uh, to 978 8 Three seven pray, or you can uh, send an email to prayer at riversideag.com, and we'll be happy to start immediately. Well, maybe not immediately, but as soon as we get that message, we got like a dozen people who are ready to pray for you. Uh, so we'll be. Uh, so I encourage you to take advantage of that. And if you get those little red cards, pass them out among the community. We'll pray for anybody. Doesn't matter. Oh, they're not really a believer. I don't care. We'll pray. Happy to pray for them anyway. I was just with a, a waitress at IHOP the other day, and I said, "Hey, here's a, here's a, a, our, our prayer cord." And she said, she asked me to pray right then. And so I said, "Absolutely, I'll pray right now for your son." And we, the prayer team, prayed for. Her, so that's a great opportunity for us to let the community know that Jesus loves them. I almost forgot the New Testament song. I, oh, not that I almost forgot the New Testament song. I almost forgot for us to sing the New Testament song. Trust me, there's no way that I am ever forgetting that New Testament song. It is etched into my brain. Let's see how etched it is into your brain. Oh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts and Romans and Corinthians. Corinthians. Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, Thessalonians, Thessalonians, Timothy, Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, Peter, Peter, John, 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 Jude, and Revelation. Good, let's do it one more time without the words on the screen, please. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, Acts and Romans and Corinthians, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, Thessalonians, Thessalonians, Timothy, Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, Peter, Peter, John, 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 Jude, and Revelation. Good job. Give yourselves a hand. Well done, Riverside Assembly. 
Amen. Pastor Paula, would you come and dismiss these beautiful kids? I just have one thing to say. Pastor Dan said that if you bring dessert, he has to take it home. I think you forgot you're leaving for a vacation that day. So are you just going to take it on the plane with you? Because if he doesn't do that, it's got to come to my house, and I really don't need it. Okay? So um, you'll take it? All right, we got some offers back there. It's going to Mario. Whatever he doesn't shove in his suitcase, it's going to your house, Mario. <laughs> Kids, I have to tell you a secret, okay? Okay, are you listening carefully? Before I dismiss you, don't tell your parents. Next, like on, on Jan, July 30, when you come and you show us all your gifts and stuff, I heard a rumor there's going to be cookies. What? Yeah, uh-huh. Sorry. You're on vacation. You're going to Italy. We get cookies. All right, kids? So make sure you're here on July 30th, because I heard there's going to be homemade cookies. Yeah. And if your parents behave in church, maybe they'll get one too. Okay? You have to behave. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Anyway, kids, if you guys just want to stand up, we're going to pray for you and we're going to dismiss you. If you don't want to, that's fine. But that's okay. Folks, can we stretch a hand out towards our kids and our teachers? Let's pray for them this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these gifts, these blessings that you have given to us. Lord, as parents, as the family of God, uh, we just say thank you. And Lord, we ask that this morning as they go off to their classes, Holy Spirit, that you would speak to their hearts. God, we pray for a fresh outpouring of your spirit on our children. God, that they would be filled to overflowing, baptized in the Holy Spirit, speaking tongues, and ready to just take this world for you. God, be with their teachers this morning. Help them to just to have patience, to have understanding, and to um, teach the things that you have put on their hearts to teach. We thank you for these kids, Lord. We ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Kids, you are dismissed. Have a wonderful time at Kids Church. We worship, guys. Listen to your teachers because they're going to they're gonna share some of God's love with you. If you're new, you can go out there. Someone will show you which direction to go. Probably someone in a pretty black dress like my wife. Oh, how's everybody doing today? Doing good? Have a good week? Wait a week without my, my son. is enjoying the Basque country of Spain right now. and uh, um, He's six hours ahead of us. So it's a little difficult to communicate. Plus, he's having so much fun and so excited that uh, he's, uh, well, we haven't heard from him as much as we'd like, but when we do hear from him, we're very excited. Uh, so thank you guys for praying for us and praying for my son Samuel as he's studying abroad for uh, another couple of weeks. What we're about to watch uh, on the screen, uh, we've got a video is a bit of historical fiction uh, from the series The Chosen. Now, in this clip, uh, it is imagined that before Nicodemus had met Jesus or even heard of Jesus, in the years before, Nicodemus had prayed for a demon-possessed woman named Lilith to be healed and to be de delivered from her demons. Uh, it was kind of forced to do it by the Roman officials, but nothing happened. She was unchanged after he had prayed for her. Well, in this clip we're about to see, years later, Nicodemus runs into this same woman in the market. Let's go ahead and show that video. It's you. It's real. Lilith. No, no, please, don't be frightened. My name is Nicodemus. I, I ministered to you, Lilith. 
I don't answer to that name. I am Mary. I was born Mary. But you were called Lilith, yes? Please, I must go. No, no, please, Mary. I, I am desperate for your help, Mary. I'm a, I'm a Pharisee. I'm visiting from Jerusalem. I'm a man of God. And I believe you have experienced a miracle, Mary. Are you really a Pharisee? Yes. yes. I'm sorry, I wasn't... I'm not here to enforce Jewish law. So how do you know who I am? You really don't remember me at all. I burned incense. I don't remember. It's all a blur. I can't go back into that. No, no, I don't want you to. I can't even imagine. But you, you are healed. That, that much is clear. I just want to understand how it happened. It makes two of us. <laughs> How long after my visit did you feel the change? It wasn't anything you did. It was someone else. Some one else? He called me Mary. He said, I am his. I am redeemed. It was so. Who did this? I don't know his name. And even if I did, I could not tell you. Why not? His time for men to know has not yet come. His time for men? <laughs> he performs miracles and seeks no credit? Well, what does he look like? Is he a member of Sanhedrin? Would you at least know him if you saw him again? <laughs> I don't know why I am sharing this with you. I, I don't understand it myself. But here is what I can tell you. I was one way. And now I am completely different. And the thing that happened in between was him. So yes, I will know him for the rest of my life. <laughs> I have to be home to prepare for Shabbat, as I'm sure you do. So meant that you're even hosting Shabbat dinner. It will be nothing like yours, I'm sure of that. But I'm going to try. Shabbat Shalom Nikodimus. Shabbat Shalom, Mary. So in this video, Nicodemus really is beginning his search for Jesus. Uh, not because he has heard Jesus' teaching. I'm a little hot on the mic, if we can turn me down a little bit. Nicodemus begins his search for Jesus not because he's heard Jesus' teaching. He doesn't even know Jesus' name yet. But standing in front of him is proof of a miracle. And miracles can't be ignored. We're walking together in a journey here at Riverside. We're exploring the passion that Jesus had and the techniques that he used to fulfill his call to share the good news. And how the example of Jesus will instruct us and encourage us in our fulfillment of our call. Last time we saw Jesus share good news with two men who were dying as they hung on crosses on either side of him. Today we'll see Jesus share the gospel with an enemy of the gospel. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your hand watching over us. We ask, Lord, that you would give us the courage to listen to what your word has to say, and to respond to what your spirit is calling us to do. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, Riverside Assembly of God, this church, we have been called 
to share the good news of Jesus Christ. It's not because, we're, look, and rivers, when I say Riverside Assembly of God, I'm not talking about this building or, or, or an organization. Riverside is you. You are Riverside. It, it's us. We, that means each of us, we as individuals and as a group are called to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not because we're part of Riverside, but because we're followers of Jesus. We are called to share the good news. Every follower of Jesus, no matter what church, no matter what denomination, all of us, if we're true followers of Jesus, are called to share the good news about Jesus. And this good news is that Jesus created a way for people to be unified with God, for people to receive eternal life. And Jesus purchased this way to God through his sacrifice on the cross. He became the sacrifice for our sins so that we could become God's children. This is good news. This is the good news that we're called to share, the gospel that we're called to share. It looks like our, our slides might not be working, so uh, that's, that's okay. Sharing the gospel, however, is not always easy. There are, are people who think they're already good enough, people who think they're religious enough, to have earned God's love. They say, ah, I don't need it. I don't need, I'm already religious enough. I'm already good enough. They might not be happy if you tell them that they're wrong about that. But listen, they are wrong. There's nothing that you can do in order to earn that gift. Salvation is a gift that must be accepted. It is offered to us by Jesus. It cannot be earned. And people need to know this. That is the good news. And Jesus is our example for living. Jesus is our example for, for living a life of faith. And that includes sharing the good news. Jesus was willing to confront people with truth, even if it made them feel uncomfortable. Jesus was willing to confront people with truth, even if it made them upset. His love for them compelled him to share that religion is not a substitute for a relationship with Jesus. Religion is not a substitute for repentance and faith in Christ. By looking at how Jesus fulfilled his call from his Father to share, we're going to be better able to fulfill our call to share the gospel. So our example today takes place about four years after the crucifixion and the resurrection. So about four years have gone by. Jesus has commissioned his disciples and, uh, to share the gospel and he's ascended into heaven. And his disciples fulfilled that commission. They did it with great results. Thousands upon thousands of people have become Jesus followers all across Israel. All throughout, especially in Jerusalem, it's, it's really hitting hard. And, and even into Samaria, all around Israel, people are becoming Christians. Even some of the Jewish priests have become Christians. They become disciples of Jesus as well. And the church of Jesus Christ is growing so fast that the Jewish authorities begin to get a little worried. The ones, the, the higher-ups are, are starting to get... The people in the Sanhedrin, the, the, the people who, the Pharisees, they're getting a little worried about it. See, because as people share the good news, they're sharing the story of Jesus. And that includes how the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin stood in opposition to Jesus. So when people share the good news, the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin are hearing their names in the story. But they're, not, they're certainly not the good guys in the story. They're, tell, they're hearing how they were instrumental in having Jesus crucified. And if somebody's telling the story and you're the bad guy in the story, you're not crazy about that story. 